Dear students, now we are going to discuss line constants for zero dissipation line. Zero dissipation is also known as dissipation less line. Okay. In general, the line constants for transmission line are given as series impedance is that is equal to R plus J omega L. Shunt admittance Y is equal to G plus J omega C. Okay. So, these two are the general expressions for Z and Y for transmission line. But for zero dissipation line, we have to assume two conditions. Okay. So, the first one is the resistance value is far less than omega L. That means resistance is completely negligible with respect to omega L due to the skin effect. Okay. The next one is conductance is equal to zero. So, these two are the important conditions for this dissipation less line. Okay. That means zero dissipation line. In this one, we can change this Z and Y based on these two conditions. Then the first term Z becomes only J omega L because R becomes zero. And Y is equal to J omega C because G is equal to 0. So, these two are the Z and Y values for zero dissipation line. Okay. From this we can find out the characteristics impedance value that is Z naught. That is equal to square root of Z by Y. We can substitute these two values. So, square root of J omega L by J omega C. Then we can divide these two values. We can get the answer as Z naught. That is characteristics impedance is equal to square root of L by C. Okay. The next one is propagation constant. So here it is represented as gamma that is equal to square root of Z into Y. That is equal to Z value is J omega L. Here Y value is J omega C. We can simply multiply these two values. Then we can get gamma is equal to j squared omega squared lc. From this we can take j omega outside from the square root. So gamma is equal to j omega into square root of lc. As we know that gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta. We can equate the real term and imaginary terms of this gamma. So here the real term is 0. So alpha is equal to 0. And here this beta is equal to imaginary value omega into square root of LC. So we can get the answer as alpha is equal to 0. There is no attenuation in zero dissipation line. And beta is equal to omega into square root of LC. That is phase constant beta is a function of frequency. Do you all understand this? So, from this we can find out the velocity of propagation for zero dissipation line. So, velocity of propagation B is equal to omega by beta. What is the beta value? Omega into square root of LC. We can substitute that value here. So, here omega, omega divided. Then we can get 1 by square root of LC. That is the velocity of propagation. It is independent of frequency. And finally, we can find out the wavelength. That is equal to 2 pi by beta. So here we can substitute the value of this omega. Then we can get 2 pi by omega into square root of LC. What is the value of this omega? 2 pi f. Then we can divide these two values. We can get the answer as lambda is equal to 1 by f square root of LC. Lambda is always inversely proportional to this frequency. Okay. So these are the line constants for Zero dissipation line. Okay.